Hi everyone, it's Carrie over at DoubleClick. Welcome back to my craft room. Today I wanted to share a paper haul. Someone on one of the local apps was selling 24 six by six paper pads and she had it posted for $30. I offered her 25 and she accepted it. Super excited. I was actually looking for two of the paper pads that were in here and I'm thrilled with all the ones that I ended up picking up. I'm going to set these aside and go through them. The first bunch are these dollar store paper pads. I have decided that I am not going to be keeping these. I'm just going to go ahead and take them right out of my craft room. If someone is interested in doing a swap, I'd be open to swapping with someone if you're interested in these paper pads. You could just leave me a comment down below. This is one of the old Provo Craft Christmas paper kits. Let me see, this is from 2006 and I actually have this one in my stash. It just has some of the vintage type Christmas papers in there. So we have that one. We have this one from Illustrated Faith. I think this is like a six by eight. And this is the Prayers Gotta Pray. I love these because they are double-sided and they don't only have to be used for Bible journaling. We have this one. This was one of the old Target ones. I also like this one because this is the thicker cardstock. This Penelope from My Mind's Eye. And this one has never been opened, but it is double-sided. I was really excited to have this one because in my stash, I had the ephemera pack that goes with it that I didn't have the paper to match, so now I have a set. That was an exciting find. We have this Christmas one from Craftsmith, and this one was used, but there's still plenty of good papers, and they are double-sided, which is perfect for making envelopes. Love that. And then we have two of the Christmas Shimmer, and these are the really nice shimmered, colored, solid colored cardstock ones. And there's two of those, and these have not been used. This was one of the paper pads that I was looking for. It's the Fine and Dandy from Dear Lizzie. And I do have a box that has Dear Lizzie stuff in it. And I believe I have the ephemera pieces to this one as well. It's super cute. I love this one so much. We have this Poolrific. And I was looking for this one. I can't think of the name of the other one that was released at the same time, but I have a lot of the pieces that go with it. And this is just a fun summer themed one. So I was looking for this one and I went through my stash because I knew I had some stuff and I found the postcard collection as well as the ephemera that belongs to it. That was exciting. This was the paper pad that I was looking for. I have the 12 by 12 Summer Dreams paper kit and I wanted to add the six by six to it because I've been working with it. So this was in there, very excited about that. I love this one so much. It's perfect for summer. We have this Bow Bunny. This is, let's see, the Faith Collection. And there are some really nice pattern papers in this one, really nice quality. This is the Valentine's Day that the Michaels released. I don't have this one in my stash. This one doesn't even necessarily have to be used for Valentine's Day. It's super cute. I'm going to put that in my Valentine's Day. As well as this one, this was the Hobby Lobby release. Let's see, this was the 2020 release. I did not get this one either. And I really love this minty green color in here. So fun. be putting that in my Valentine's Day stash as well. We have this We Are Memory Keepers Flower Girl collection. I have a couple of these paper pads and th their cardstock is really nice and thick. So we have this one and I went through my stash and I found that I also have the ephemera pack that matches it. So that's great. Now I have some matching things to make projects with. And we have this, this is adhesive fabric, which is super nice. This is great to make bows and add texture. I love the colors in this one, it's so nice. And then we have one of the bigger recollections. This has the 180 sheets. So the paper quality isn't as thick as the other ones. It's nice that all of the papers in the paper pad kind of match each other. This is a really nice, fun, like boho type. What is the name of this one? This one doesn't have a name on it. This one, same 180 sheet. The paper quality isn't as good, but look at how cute this is. It's fun. And it's kind of like the pink theme and then the blue theme. I feel like I have something that matches this. 
And this is the Patty Wack is the name of the paper. And the last one is this one from Recollections. This is the Blackjack. This one hasn't been opened either. I'm glad I'm adding this one into my stash because I've decided to de-stash all of my 12 by 12 black and white paper because I don't use it as often as the other ones. That is my local crafty haul of these paper pads. So these were pretty much like a dollar and like five cents each, which is amazing for all of them. I decided to join these videos. I went to Savers a few days after my paper pad haul, so I thought I would just join these together. The store was having 50% off their entire store. I was able to find a couple of crafting items. The first thing is this Sizzix Big Sty. It is one of the old style ones. I did cut it, this is what it creates. It's super cute, super simple. These are really quick and easy to use. I picked up these stamps. They were $2. We have this really big polka dot background. I purged all of my background stamps years ago. I thought for a dollar it was worth it to put this back into my stash. We'll see if I ever use it. We have this one. I thought this was so unique. I don't have anything like this in my stash. This is from Inka Dinka Doo. I don't see a year on it. It doesn't look like it's been used either, but I thought for a dollar, put that in my stash as well. I picked up this golden book. It's from 1980, but it is in perfect condition. Like the spine wasn't even broken. The book has like never been open. So I decided to grab that. And I did take the sticker off because I didn't want it ruining this perfect book. And this was 75 cents. This is some learning materials for $2. I decided to pick this up, of course, for my junk journal kits. These are really nice sizes and they're really thick. They're really thick cardboard. And there is a variety of shapes, colored and non-colored. And I thought that these would really be great to add to junk journals so that is going into my junk journaling drawer and the last thing that I picked up I have a little story about it I have this tiny attacher stapler and this was from the American Crafts line when they came out with theirs I also have this one the Tim Holtz tiny attacher the staples you cannot interchange the staples on these two staplers. So when I went to use this the other day, I was out of staples and I went to my staple supply and I only had one little row left. I went on to try and find the staples for this and I couldn't find them anywhere except one place. And of course, like the hoarder that I am, I went into panic mode because I have two of these. Yes, I have two, one for each desk. And I'm thinking, well, what am I gonna do without these staples? It would be garbage. So I found them online, had them shipped to me. These are the staples. And they did tell me that one was open and they tried to use one, but it got stuck in the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher, which I already knew they don't fit in there. I ended up paying $10 each, $10 each. So $20 for two packages of staples so that I could continue using this American Crafts stapler. If anyone knows where I could find these or someone has them in their stash and they would like to de-stash them to me, please let me know, leave a comment down below. I was getting ready to put these away and I found an unopened package in my supplies. Look at how much I paid for them, 99 cents, $10 now. This is why I'm a craft hoarder. <laughs> I Because of reasons like this that I have to buy multiples because you, they make you buy a tool and then they have specialty things to go with that tool and then they discontinue it but the tool will last for years and years but then you can't use it so then you have to go and buy another tool like this one and then buy only those special staples it's a vicious cycle anyway that's my staple story <laughs> and it's ridiculous what I had to pay for these but I have some in my stash and it, you know even though it's like 1600 i have gone through packages of these already so we'll see how long these last me and that is it guys that is my crazy reasoning of why i hoard my craft supplies and i thank you guys so much for stopping by have a great day bye guys